We are live. We are live. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Um, thank you for tuning in. Anybody that's tuning in right now, thank you so much. Check, check, check. Microphone, check, one, two, one, two. Yo. Check, 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 one, two. Microphone. Check, 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 one, two. We are live and direct. Live and direct. Check, 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 check. Is it a uh, hype? Check, 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 one, two. Check, one, two, check, 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 one, two, one, two. Yeah, that's better. I think that's it. Yeah. That's, I hear it differently. That's what yeah. Yeah, the sample rate was a little high. Okay. <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. We are live, right? Oh, you're good, you're good. You just give me the sign. Give me the green light. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another um, segment of our On Air by South by Southeast. We are here today with Sebastian Peace and Kem. Please enjoy the night of free live music on air with South by Southeast. Take it away, guys. Good, uh, good evening, everybody. Um, I am here with the very talented Kem. We're going to give you an acoustic experience. 
of some of my songs. Um, big shout out to South by Southeast live on air for having us here. We're very grateful for the opportunity. We're very grateful for everything that you guys put together. We're, uh, we're very ecstatic. This is where I'm from. This is my side of the city. So uh, let's take it away. This first song we're going to be doing is called Bliss. It's off of Daybreak, my debut EP out now. Let's take it away. Give me the things that I do and I promise you that I will change Told my mama I love I had to discover myself before I die in vain The spirit is holy, I ride with a 40, I can't be playing no game Shorties be shooting and looted and do not confuse it, these bullets just shot with no aim They say you change if you stay in your lane I say it's hard to remain in the same Part of my truth but I feel so ashamed Part of my life had to break up the chain Michael Jordan is a pass and Scotty Popping Molly's got you out of body Knock him out, it's the round of Rosie. Lord take the wheel, I'll be riding shot it like hey. Yeah I'ma stay alive, ain't no suicide I'ma stay shy like it's do or die I've been on the vibe, I've been too alive Too alive, too alive, ain't no suicide I've been on the vibe, I've been too alive I'ma stay shy like it's do or die Yeah, like it's do or die Writing verses like the South Side Apostle, heating up like Cabo in the middle of Chicago. Thug named Paco pulled up a Silverados. I just took a model out for forties and some tacos. Crispy with the ice chain, frosty as gelato. Cash rules everything around me hit the lotto. Part of my tomorrows that ain't never been my motto. Flipping packs like they McDonald's, carry max that's full of hollow. That's just something I grew up with I had a kid and I grew up quick I told my mama I'm a bounce Got my ass up out of the house It's right in here, so on the couch I hit the road, I plan to ride yeah. I'ma stay alive, ain't no suicide I'ma stay shy like it's do or die I've been on the vibe, I've been so alive songs that I showcase on Daybreak, which is out now, all platforms, go listen to it. Um, I usually write my life stories. Um, a lot of my music is within uh, perspective, things that people hear and tend to pick up on. I have a lot of people who listen to my songs and dissect them in a way that they feel that they can relate to. Um, and I'm very grateful for every fan that I have out there, every fan that I gain, everybody that kind of moves their way into my music. Um, I met Cam actually through Mass Attack. Shout out to George. He couldn't be here today, and I'm really bummed out about it, but um, he's here in spirit. That man has really put on... If, if, if Today wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for Mass Attack, if it wasn't for George. And I know he's listening right now, and I know he's watching. So um, thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you for believing me. Thank you for putting all my music out there in the full, you know, in the front. Just a really selfless human being. And I really respect him for it. He lost somebody very dear to him. And it really, it hurts him. I know it does, but we all kind of learn from this. And this next song that I'm going to do is really close and dear to me a lot of people hear it and hear my life story through the song so um nonetheless this next song is called save me it's a single right now it didn't necessarily make the ep but i put this out about a year ago and i really hope you enjoy and whoever's listening right now if you're going through mental illness talk to somebody 
of the God. Talk to a friend. Talk to a parent. You know, anybody. Everybody's always willing to listen. And um, I really want you guys to understand this song that I got. You know, it's called Save Me. And uh, we're about to get into it right now. I drank a lot of took some drugs before I wrote this Try to do it sober, but I just couldn't stay focused I'm distracted by my past and my future that approaches Stuck somewhere in between, why can I control my emotions? I mean, damn, I find myself tripping over the slightest things This world is suffocating me, I have to try to breathe This is the first time in my life where things ain't coming easy And the people that used to depend on me don't even need me And tell me what I'm doing, and tell me what's my purpose and why, when I look in the mirror, do I feel worthless? I stay away from churches. I can't sit through the service. I know I need forgiveness, but I feel I don't deserve it. And I try to stay cool, but that's just on the surface. There's something deep and dark inside me that slowly emerges. And I can't contain it, but yet I know what's coming. And I got I'm so tired of running, man. So won't somebody save me? I can see it in her eyes, she don't want to do this thing at all But we hardly get to talk, and she barely ever see me So when we both together, she think that what it takes to please me But I'm sorry darling, you just a sucker for a sucker My heart's already broken and I never learned to love you And I got a half sister that don't ever see her brother Because I resent her father for what he did to my mother And it's too much so over the edge I go Drinking, thinking I'm gonna find that message in a bottle And y'all know That feeling when it seems the world's against you And nobody gives up No matter how much they pretend to You don't wanna hear my problems Let alone solve them So I just keep on flying solo While my soul's dissolving And mama never told me that these days will come this often But I guess it's too late to proceed with caution On somebody save me Hey. Before the sun goes down, and I think I'm going crazy. I think I'm going crazy. Oh, somebody save me. Before the sun goes down, and I think I'm going crazy. I think I'm going crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm going crazy. Crazy. I think I'm going crazy, crazy. I think I'm going crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, yeah. special place in my heart. I wrote it very long time ago, and I was going through a lot of transitions in my life, uh, and I think it resonated with a lot of people more than I thought it would. I performed it a lot, and a lot of people came up to me, and it was just mixed experiences, but I really got a lot of people to think about what they're grateful for, and that's, that's my biggest thing. I, um, we take a lot of things for granted. Uh, I, I don't mean to get very uh, deep or emotional on the matter, but we're living a very fast-paced life to where we kind of control what we can show people, especially with social media. Um, it sucks that we can kind of portray a certain life on our phone rather than in real life. So, I uh, yeah, when I wrote that song, I was just going through a really deep place, and I really advise people that, there's so many people out there that care for you, you know. I kind of, as a teen, I was really rebellious. I really felt like, man, ain't nobody care about me. Ain't nobody listening to 
what I got to say or just, you know, that rebellious stage. And if I can give any young adult that's grown up in this world, just you've got to know that you're not alone. You got to know that because we kind of alienate ourselves in a way that we want people to hurt when we're hurt. That just goes to saying, it's like hurt people hurt people. I heard that so many times in my life. And uh, it sucks because that's kind of like a, a worse than a pandemic. You know, we're going through, like I said, our mental illness is our, our brain, our, our health is wealth. And I, I'd rather choose my health over any amount of money thrown my way. That's why I humble myself. Um, and if you guys kind of listen to my music, you get to know me a little bit, you know, a little bit better. Um, I could kind of go on and on, but if you didn't personally know me, I go by Sebastian Peace. I've been making music for about a little over, honestly, a little over a decade. Uh, I'm finally now taking up the courage to, uh, you know, put my music out there and put myself out there. I have a lot of people supporting me, a lot of people at home, the ones I love, um, the ones that I care for so much. They really pushed me to do this. I actually linked up with Kem. If you don't know, Kem is a part of Mass Attack. Give it up for Mass Attack, man. That, that, last, that last set they did on Live On Air was just amazing. George, he really touched a lot of souls in the building, um, as he should. Uh, and so Mass Attack, George, says that Kem being on there again technically makes Mass Attack a second or two-time guest on air. Yes. <laughs> so this is uh, Mass Attack 2.0, per se. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's the reloaded version of Mass Attack uh, featuring Sebastian Peace, per se. You know what I mean? I'm featuring on this. Just to make it technical. Yeah, apparently, you know. Uh, <laughs> But shout out to Mass Attack, shout out to George. Like I said, I can talk about that guy for hours. He's just a very, very close, dear friend of mine. Uh, he kind of put me on to become something that I try to be. Um, I First time, this is not my first time performing with Kim. I did Nest Fest in the East Side, which is a very big festival for up and coming artists at the Crow Bar, which is a, a staple in the East Side per se. And um, I did, a, I did a performance, and these guys, day of the rehearsal, I literally brought to them two songs, and they, you know what I mean, with the beat, they listened to it, they were like, all right, you, you know, are you ready? And I'm, are you ready? You know, it was just, it was one of those, and it was awesome, because I've never really played with a live band before, so I kind of got a taste of the acoustic version, acoustic set, and people were really liking it, and I got a lot of good feedback. I grew up with a very big musical background. My uncle's actually a uh, part of a band. My cousin's part of a band. They're part of the same band, actually. And I got to, you know, be around them. But being an independent artist right now from the East Side, anybody from the East Side, we, we kind of got to stay very close-knit. Um, people tend to forget the East Side. And we, uh, we kind of get looked over, in a sense. But now we're really making a name for ourselves. We're really putting ourselves out there. I got a homie, um, shout out to Aaron Cortez, shout out to Matt Shapeless. Those guys are holding down 93 Studios, which is a actual art studio in South Chicago slash Eastside. And that's where I actually recorded most of Daybreak. They blessed me with being able to be there, record, and um, be part of the mix and everything. And I thank them every day and they don't really get the flowers they deserve but if y'all watching i know you're gonna watch soon but shout out to them shout out to roman villarreal um just big names that are doing it out there uh, another big name in my my mind right now would be a city within a city uh stephen walsh is doing big things if you guys don't know the history of the east side follow a city within a city they're really doing big things they're really pointing in on where we're from you know and everything like that uh, and Dave, shout out Slackers. I could, I could go on so many names. I just want to pay homage to the people that I looked up growing up. Uh, I still look up to to this day, and they kind of add a little flavor to what I do as an artist. Um, so what do we got? What do we got next? So yeah, you do here? have a question. Um, yeah. When you feel like giving up on the music side of things, what keeps you motivated? Oh, 
my family. Um, I know uh, uh, my girl's watching right now. Shout out to my wife, Stephanie. If you're watching right now, she's just been, she's been a tremendous rock within my world. Um, she's the one that actually pushed me to do this music. Now, when I say I did this, started rapping a long time ago. About I started actually doing beats before I was rapping, so you know I'm, I got the duality of it. Everything that's on Daybreak on my project has been produced by me, engineered by the talented, the greatness, Saw Solutions. He's here in the building right now. We're going to get into how me and him went, but he's just an amazing engineer. I love him so much. He's the reason why I am who I am now. Uh, but, yeah, she's the one that honestly pushed me to be me, be genuine, to be uh, the best version of myself today. Also, uh, a big shout-out to my homie, Jose, if he's watching, Zabo, I love you, dude. We used to rap in my, in, in my, I had a Nissan Pad. I still have a, the truck Nissan Pathfinder. We'd just rap in there for like three hours. And he'd be like, bro, you're stupid. Like, why are you not being paid for this stuff to do it, you know? So um, I love him so much, man. He deserves his flowers as well. But yeah, uh, just everybody around me. My mother as well, she pushed me to do music. You know, she, like most parents, they feel like they want to, they want to, Make a career out of it. You know what I mean? They want you to get it. If, if it ain't paying you a 401k, you ain't doing it right. You know what I mean? And trust me, there ain't no 401k in this music. But, um, yeah, she's the reason why I kind of pushed myself further and excelled. Uh, she was actually the one that uh, is the reason for Daybreak. She would kind of talk about uh, concepts of, of music I should put out and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it just kind of... And everybody around me, I surround myself with very supportive individuals. Everybody really supports me in the best way that they can, and vice versa. Um, you got uh, Voyager in the building. This man, he's uh, he's just he's awesome, dude. I love him. And every time we uh, we meet and every time we talk, it's just nothing but love, nothing but support. And that's what you have to surround yourself with. It's just supporters. I need one of those hoodies too. Yeah, yeah. We need we need a lot of the hoodies, bro, for the whole team. So. We'll talk about it after this, but um, yeah, thank you for the thank you for the uh, for the question. Um, and feel free to you know uh, just ask away. We're gonna be here uh, trying to give y'all the performance of the night. So this next song we are getting into is called "Lonely." Um, it doesn't seem like a lonely song, and I didn't want to initially call it that, but that was how I was feeling when I wrote it. Uh, this was a big year for people listening to the project. This was their favorite one, so I'm going to give y'all what y'all wanted, and um, we're going to perform Lonely. Take it away. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. We'll, 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 uh, let me, uh, listen. we're going to do it up. Now, mind you, this song has been done so many times. Um, I know Sauce hates me for this, but I change songs a lot. And I'm sorry for that, bro. But, uh, you know, he, he, he'll understand someday along. All right. Pull this up. We got the levels good. Yeah. That's what it's like, but it's good to me. I know it's like when you pick up for me. I'm addicted for your love when you love me at my very lowest. But I can't have had to show it. I don't 
all the secrets that you told me in the past, girl, I had to hold it. And I really hope it happens. And I love you like a past tense. And I'm not that romantic, but I can do you better than that man did. Girl, you acting like a demon with a halo. And you call me when I say so. Shorty, kid, and that's a case close. song was kind of like the up-tempo of the daybreak. Um, I wanted to give it like something you could hear on the radio just to spice it up a bit. You know? Something you could kind of, you could, you could, right, you could dance to it. You know what I mean? You can, you, you know, you, you want to feel good about something that you hear. And that's kind of where I, um, I lie between the project. I have a lot of different, um, flavors, as you can say, um, as an artist, I really don't want to be boxed in as to just a rapper. Um, my whole life, I was listening to, and I, and I shout out to my parents because they really uh, brought me up listening to a melting pot of music. And I feel like that's what sets me aside as far as, you know, tone and sonically goes. Uh, I have a lot of influence within my music. And when you listen to it, uh, you can hear it. And... I kind of uh, base myself on uh, watching, uh, learning from the greatest. Um, I, a lot of my inspiration drives from, uh, I'm a big Jay-Z fan. I love Jay-Z. Like, Jay-Z, uh, MF Doom, if, y'all, if, y'all, if you've never listened to MF Doom, I really, really encourage you to listen to MF Doom. Rest in peace. He recently, uh, recently passed. Um, MF Doom, especially Chicago legends as well, Common, Kanye. Lupe, uh, just a lot of, you know, different things. But on the other spectrum, like, I was a really big Cranberry fan. You know what I mean? Like, Cranberries, um, Smashing Pumpkins. It's just like uh, the alternative uh, part of me really honed in. And a lot of samples that I have on Daybreak, if you don't catch, like, it's just different samples. Like, I really, I got uh, Smashing Pumpkins and a sample in Daybreak, you, you know, most ears wouldn't catch that, but I do. So um, just growing up with a good ear for music really put me ahead as far as uh, sonic spectrum goes. And then um, also having the one, the greatest sauce solutions. So we're sauce guys. Can we, can we get sauce out here? Saucy. Sauce solutions. Is, is he coming? Oh, he's, he's going to make a grand entrance. Yeah, he's got to make a grand entrance. Every time. Um, yeah, yeah, don't, don't, if you can, I'm sure, you know, everybody knows you by now, and if they don't, Saw Solutions, um, he is the reason why there is a Sebastian piece, and I'm not, I'm not, like, knocking that down. Like, he is the reason why I am here today. He's the reason why this music took off the way it did. He deserves every ounce of dedication going his way. Um, I love you, dude. I love thank thank you. Thank you for coming. Um, I told him like you know last notice, but he had to be here. And this guy 
if when you hear Daybreak, you hear Sauce. So let's just tell the people how we kind of got the origin started as far as me and you meeting each other, you know? I mean, <laughs> that was uh, COVID. COVID, yeah. COVID, you know. Uh, Holy, wow. The, it uh, was, yeah. The Beginning sweeping of COVID. of COVID gave everybody unemployment. So I, I guess like to touch on like a little bit of my story, um, I'm in a band called The Party Fall. So during COVID, uh, my bass player, Nick, um, he, he, uh, he was there for me a lot because, uh, you know, my family works a lot in the medical field. And, uh, you know, they're in and out of the hospitals. You know, we didn't really know how to handle this kind of thing. So I decided to take a, <clears throat> some steps away from my family, you know, just wanted to kind of separate. So I decided to go to Nick's house for a couple months. You know, I was like, Nick, you know, I kind of want to, you know, is it cool if I live with you for a couple months while all this maybe dies down? I don't know. But, you know, of course, he's cool with it. We're brothers, you know. We're, we're basically blood brothers out here. We've been on 11 tours, man. There's, there's nothing I don't know about this guy, okay? 50 states, right? <clears throat> uh, every, every state except Alaska and Hawaii. Every yeah, state. Yeah, we, we've been to every state. He's been all over the U.S., remember that. Yeah, so. Um, but, you know, I digress. Uh, you know, we go there. I went there for COVID, and uh, I was spending, you know, every day with him. We were writing music. He's he's uh, He writes beats. You know, we, we all write beats, and... Write music, all types of music. You know, uh, that's Whiskey Beats. Give him a follow. Shout out Whiskey. Um, mm -hmm. I love you, Nick. If you're watching, shout out Whiskey yeah. Beats. He's going to come up with something soon. But Yeah, he's, yeah. he's, he's, he's ex you know, he's extremely good at what he does. So, you know, we, we spent a lot of months together. You know, I want to say maybe two, three months during COVID, possibly before I even went home. Maybe, maybe longer. I don't remember. It was all blur. Just too much fun, you know. Um... So anyway, this guy comes over one day. Nick's like, hey, you know, my friend uh, Josh is going to come over. Uh, you know, we're going to maybe just hit some freestyles and things. That's what we do. We like to freestyle over beats that we make, maybe find some beats online, get some ideas, things like that. So, you know, he comes over and uh, I load up, you know, I load up my laptop. I'm like, hey, man, I got, you know, I got these beats or whatever. He's like, oh, I got some beats too. Send them to me. I'm like, okay, well, we'll work on some of the stuff that you've got, you know, because I like fresh things. I like to hear what other people do. Sends me a catalog of beats. like, And I, and I say a catalog. I mean, the, he's got a lot of beats. You know, he sent me, I don't know, what was it, like 10, 15 yeah, beats? Yeah, 10, it was a lot. He had a lot. He had a lot going on. So I was like, okay, you know, let's go through these. Let's, let's check it out. Let's see what's going on. Load up the first one, you know, Josh got some things. Uh, some, some of the stuff's over the top. Some of the stuff's, you know, pre-written. You know, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but you know, right off the bat, right off the bat, you know, I hear this guy's voice, you know, the cadence, you know, the way that he goes about it. I'm like, okay, okay. All right. We, we got somebody here. He's got, he, he, he knows what he's doing. It sounds good. So, <clears throat> you know, that's basically how we met. You know, we're, we were just sitting there making beats, having a couple beers and things. You know, wh what else do we do during COVID? You know, yeah. drink some beers, have beers some fun. and beats. Yeah, you know, enjoy the unemployment, the free money, now, <laughs> now that everything's inflated. But, you know, it was good. It, it was great, man. I, I, I got to tell you, like, uh, <clears throat> I wasn't expecting that at all. You know, I was, with everything going on, I wasn't expecting to meet, you know, a great friend. You know, and not only him, but his wife, Stephanie, has always treated me very well. Uh, shout out to her as well. Like, she cooks for me. She's, she's always been a good friend as well, you know, so... Um, but yeah, that's kind of how we met. And ever since then, we kind of just kind of kept going, just kind of kept going with it. And we, like with Daybreak, it was, you know, we've, we've had these songs for a long time. And you know, what's funny is that a lot of the songs that we've done, I haven't like there, that's not even it. Like there's older songs than that, that are yeah. still sitting on my computer, still done. I, some of them are done. You know, like we just, uh, you know, we're trying to com compile and organize a catalog, you know, like we want to go things, go about things right. And, you know, like I said, I'm, I, I was in a band called Party Fall. I don't know how many people have heard of my band. We've been around, you know, we uh, probably a lot of people on the east side have heard of my band. Absolutely. You know, we, uh, <clears throat> like I said, I, I, we've been to 50 states or whatever. So, you know, you're going to hear of us. But like, I like to shed a lot of my wisdom, you know, because I kind of taken a step back from mu musicianship to record because that's kind of like what I like to do. I like to help other people sh share that wisdom. Um, it's it's really just what I like to do nowadays. You know, I still like to do play guitar, you know, write beats, things like that. But my real passion lies in 
making artists like Josh kind of shine through. And, you know, that's that it comes with all the wisdom that I've learned, you know, touring and writing albums, dealing with management labels, whatever, you know, and um, you find somebody like this not only becomes one of your best friends, but also one of your most prized clientele, you know, and it's a it's a great relationship. It's very symbiotic. And um, I enjoyed a lot. You yeah, know? no, absolutely. So, you know, when I say that Sauce really like had his hand on this project, that Sauce had his hand on this project, you know, uh, it wasn't just me and him. It wasn't just an engineer teaming up with an artist. It was me and him actually sitting down, having a bond, me and him sitting down, having a heart to heart, hearing these songs. Uh, really digesting most of these songs and uh, growing up together. I feel like we, from where we started hanging out, from where we are now, we literally, we grew up in that span of time. And it feels helped. longer. Yeah, it does. It feels <laughs> so long. And now that you bring it up, like it, it was COVID and that, that brought, that drew us together. And it was like that, you know, stepbrothers, like, did we? Just become best friends. Like, yeah, right. It was literally like, see, like you know, you want to go in the garage and be ninjas? Yes. You know, it was like, it was like, it, it was us being uh, finding each other for the first time in a long time, and that's why I, I give a big shout out to Nick. Shout out whiskey. If it wasn't for Nick, Nick, it, it, the universe aligned at the right place at the right time. Mm. It wasn't you, and I, I believe God put him in my life for a reason because. I wouldn't be able to, and it wasn't about confidence. It was just about knowing that this is the music that I want to pursue. This is the direction I'm trying to go. And he was all for it. It was literally him. It was the, the, the tick of the time that put the fire under our asses and like, we got to do it. And yeah, if it wasn't for Sauce, Daybreak wouldn't be here, man. Yeah, and you know, and, honestly, it's crazy to think of like how important people are. Like if you actually take a step back and perceive that, like, you know, like you just said, like, if it wasn't for Nick, you know, like, we probably wouldn't have really met, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> and, you know, I mean, shit, just think about that, you know? Maybe tell somebody you love him because, you know, like, Nick, I know I know for a fact Nick doesn't think he's as important as he actually is. Oh, he's, yeah. You know what he's I'm the saying? So, like, puzzle, the if you, the if puzzle. You, yeah, if you look at, like, you know, how things happened, like, that there's more pieces to the puzzle than you originally think. Yes. That there is. And I think that, you know, that goes to show a lot, you know, and that goes with all aspects of everybody's lives. When yeah. you really think about it and delve deep, like that's, that's important. Yeah. You know, it is. It is. So it's, I am like, I am extremely thankful for Nick. For, yeah. Uh, you yeah. Know, especially for that, you know, just, that's just one aspect of it. It's, yeah. It's just one, it's a, it's a cog. I really look at everybody as a cog in a clock. You know what I mean? If you lost the cog within that clock, that clock wouldn't tick right. The, you know, it wouldn't go around the right way. And people like Kem, people like George, you know, people that support you, people that love you, that really want to see you excel. That's how I, I couldn't stress that enough. Just just click with people that want to see the best version of you. It's not just about success. It's not just about, oh, yeah, well, they got it, so I'm going to back them up. No, it's, they're a good human being, and I'm a good human being, and together we're great human beings. Uh, I believe in that, so... I just want to sauce. Thank you so much, brother. Yeah, Thank 100%, you. 100%, man. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. Shout out to you guys. South by Southeast. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Would love to work with you guys in the future. Well, we definitely got something brewing in the future. And everybody, give it up for Sauce Solutions. <laughs> yes. So now that we got the uh, man of the hour say his little piece um this next song we're gonna do is called floating if you are in love or love somebody listen hold them love them touch them caress them. uh you know i, I want to get a little you know raunchy with it but if you love somebody right now tell them text them call them say i love you but uh, yeah, this next song is called Floating, it's off Daybreak. You ready, Cam? Let's get it. Yeah. Right. Uh. The moment I met you, 
I knew it was love The way my heart let you Give it all with my trust And we were so young Living life on the edge And no one would hurt you If they did, they'd be dead And all of your worries That was causing you stress Lay your head on my chest Put my hands to your head Some things Better left it said, it's all deep inside of my head I want you to smile the same when you think of how we'd have changed How we fell out, how we fell in How do we break it and get back again? How could I leave you when I make amends? Show them what lovers but most of our friends You show me light I was used to the dark Burning passion inside To relight the spark Hold me close and you need me I know that this life is not easy And lately it's harder to read me But baby, I promise the Lord is my savior And trust me, the demons will try to deceive me I'm hearing your voice Everywhere that I go And I'm making a choice To see right through your soul You're on my mind, you're on my mind You're on my mind, you're on my mind You're on my mind, on my mind, on my mind All the time All the time All the time. Look, see you gave me a gift, something purchase is gold, just a kiss on your lips. This is a life that I chose, like I'm living a dream. But my eyes are not closed. Watch you carry my child. See you change as she grows, like I'm living a dream. But I'm praying for blessings. This is love unconditional No one that person you fell for will always be there in a second Someone to lean on Someone to show you the way Someone to make you feel safe Someone to take all the pain that's been built inside you But somehow just make it a race Almost like fate When I look at your face I reach up to the heavens and space Just to fall from your grace So you were the one That I knew it hello It's forever this time And I'm not letting go On my mind, you're on my mind All the time, yeah, all the time, on my mind, 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 all the time, all the time. Initially started uh, the recording of Daybreak. I was in a different position in my life. Um, like I said, I, I had a lot of people come in my life at different waves, and I really, I, I, like, I'm connected when it comes to artistry in a different level. Uh, if you guys don't know by now. I was on one of my homies uh, EP, uh, shout out to Nico Supremo, if you guys don't know who he is, uh, he's an artist from Pilsen, and when I was doing most of my like uh, music and recording and things of that such, he was within the circle that we were working in, and he came up to me, he was like, hey man, like I really need you on my project. And I didn't really know, like, how to act. I didn't know what to do. Like, I've never had no artist come up to me wanting me on their stuff. So uh, when I did his song, um, which is called Slackers, like I said, shout out to Dave. Uh, Dave the Slackers. Shout out Slackers, man. They're doing big things. But um, anyways, when Dave uh, was hooked, you know, uh, linked up with Nico and stuff, and they were making moves and they're making, like, clothing and all that, uh, he released his EP, uh, which was, uh, what's it called? Uh, Ego Death. And that was the first, honestly, first song that I was ever on that was ever out officially. So I necessarily didn't put out music until I was featured on somebody's song. That gave me the kickstart. That gave me the confidence to be like, okay, I can do this. And it wasn't necessarily like working with somebody. I needed that push, but uh, that kind of 
tumble things down to people know who I was. It was notoriety, basically. So when I was on a song, everybody's like, okay, like, Sebastian Peace, we're hearing them. Where's your music at? Uh, so then that's when I started releasing singles. And before the singles, this is obviously before Daybreak, when I was recording Daybreak, uh, I was kind of like in it, in it and out of it and kind of like playing back and forth and really just second-guessing myself. But I made friendships along the way. One of the big friendships that I did make, and shout out to Nico for this, uh, was an artist named Patrick Sun. Patrick is one of probably the biggest, best MCs I could. I, I just can't. I, I, I talk about this guy so highly, but he's not only is he a friend of me, not only is he a brother, but he is a, um, a phenomenal artist. Uh, I believe in him so much. Uh, artist from the south side of Chicago. So me and him related a lot on where we were from and everything. Uh, so shout out to everybody who kind of put us in the same room together. Uh, Pat's here. Uh, where's Where's Pat at? Can we bring Pat out? I I got a seat. Another special guest right now. I got Patrick's son in the building. Um, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Patrick's son. Um, what's up, man? Such a warm welcome. Thank hey. you. I got to, man. I got to. Um, Thanks, man. But no, thank you. Thank you. I, I told Pat last minute. <laughs> I told Pat last minute, so um, it, he gives me grace for that because everything's last minute with me. I might tell you, like, the day of, like, hey, can you do a performance? Nah, and this, he, it, with him, it's like, nah, bro, I'm not, I'm no second guessing, I'm there, you know? Exactly. Um, but but do. Uh, <laughs> this is Patrick's son. Patrick is one of the, the like, biggest artist I look up to because how real he is, you know, um, yeah, you are, bro, don't, you know, let, let, let me give you, you know, Jeez, I'm, 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 let me talk my piece at least a little bit, but, <laughs> um, and I, uh, what you guys are, are here for to experience is, um, true friendship at its finest because me and him, not only did we relate as artists, but we also related as men. We also related as, you know, our background in life. And we got to talk a lot about that. But the artistry that goes into me and him making music is just, it's amazing, dude. Like, yeah, man. I, it really is. I would literally play him a beat and he, I don't know how you rap, but you just, you rap, bro. <laughs> like, I, I, I've never seen any, like, nobody rap like Patrick Raps. And, and, <laughs> And I and I mean it though. I mean it, brother. So I'm, much pressure now. No, no, no. no, no. Come on you. now, man. Come on. You, you, you can talk right now, and people think you're rapping. Right. But Thank you. um, I I really um want people to 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 point in on who Patrick is, not just as an artist, but who he is as a person. Damn. Um, Thank you, man. he's 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 phenomenal. He's starting. He, it's not just him starting out. He's he's right now at the very essence of what I was always trying to be. Mm. So, um, yeah, Pat, talk to him. Let me let him know what's let him know what's going on. Man. man, well thank you for that um the kind words, the very caring words. It was very, very, very touching, man. Thank you for for that. Um and thank you for having me on the show, first of all. Absolutely. That's that's you know, it was last minute, but again, bro, I'm I'm down to do really much anything. Like like you said, um just coming up, um literally just dropped the E P my first E P last spring, like last May. So um, then I dropped a second project um, called Godly that dropped in October. So um, Apple Music, Spotify, that's where I'm at. Um, everywhere, everywhere, every uh, streaming platform. And um, like I said, man, I'm just getting started. Um, very being very humble. I, he really, you know, talked me up, which was really cool, man. But uh, you know, I like I like to uh, let the the music kind of speaks for itself. Like just like peace. Um, I grew up listening to a lot of melting pot of a lot of music. So. Um, I kind of take that into what I do now in terms of just experimenting and always evolving as an artist. So um, me and P's got a lot of work that hasn't been put out yet, and uh, we're going to get on that. But um, for me, I always like to keep it short and sweet, and I just like to let the the, the lyrics and the, the music kind of speak for me because, you know, I'm not the best at kind of like, hey, this is who I am. But when you listen to the music, you kind of get a gauge of like, okay, this guy's kind of, I can see where he's going and, um, you know, I'm ready to take on the challenges that life has to offer and, and with this journey comes. And, you know, I'm glad to have people like Peace and I'm glad to have people like Mass Attack, uh, 
you know what I'm saying, Cam and everybody who kind of was just rocking with me and, um, you know, giving me this platform to speak on, you know, kind of helping me out as I'm coming up. And um, I couldn't ask for anybody better besides Peace, man. So shout out to Peace. Love. There ain't nothing love, nothing but love that I have for the East Side, man. So East Side has adopted this man as he has adopted us. <laughs> um, but uh, very welcome. Yeah, shout out, uh, shout out George. George is actually the reason why we are all in this. All of us, Thanks, yes. all of us, everybody is connected to George. Everybody, um, for real. So please, in the comments, put uh, uh, George. Why didn't you show up? <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm playing. I'm just playing. You should have been here, bro. Yeah, George. George, aka Alderman of the East Side. You know what I mean? I'm sorry, Miss Garza, but um, it had to be said. But um, yeah. So George is the reason why we were originally gonna do a piece with all of us. Man. But uh, yeah, we're gonna save that for later. Yeah. What we got now uh, is me and uh, Patrick's passion for this rap uh this song that we were, we're about to perform is me and him just being in the studio playing around honestly we was yeah we was just we, yeah kind of joking but it kind of got serious man because i i you know you know you know yeah you know yeah i know yeah i know i know but we, know, we did have a comment from Mass Attack who says i'm glad i couldn't make it now because i would have felt left out without a vest uh, <laughs> the best brothers. Wow, we did wow. come in dusty as hell. We did. <laughs> if you're from Chicago, you gotta, you gotta have a vest. You know, he got, a, guy, he got a bulletproof vest hanging out in his closet. G, you know what I mean? You gotta don't 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 play that now, bro. He, he got a he got a corduroy vest from you know high school that he still I got. got a bulletproof now. vest. I got the. Uh, the Batman <laughs> shit. I got the carbon fiber. The in carbon there. fiber vest. I don't fuck around. You didn't, no, he don't. It's cold don't. and people shoot. So it, and, it's, <laughs> and that's all, 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 all jokes aside, and that's why you know um, me and Pat really had it out because growing up uh, of our adolescence, we you know we did went you know witness shootings. We did witness one of our friends dying you know and yeah, exactly. um I, and one of my verses i you know i say uh, on the same corner where i lost 10 of my friends like when i say it like it's 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 legit you know it's a it, it ruins it, it's it's almost like a, a poison going through the community is gun violence is drugs and all that and we don't we don't you know we don't really speak on that within our raps you know what i mean mm. so um but just a different perspective. It's it? also you know a different saying? perspective. Yeah. It's also, you know, me and him being on that side of the city, me being on this side of the city, yeah. combining both of the flavors and really talking about what's true to us, you know, and what we stand by. So, right. um, yeah, man, thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank um, you. Thank so you. are we, uh, do we got any more questions in the, in, the, in, the, in the chats? You know what I mean? We can come um, Stephanie has a question for Patrick. Okay. She says... What? What inspires you to do music? Oh, man. So, um, that's a good one. That's a good question. Um, what inspires me really, what I, when I first started um, kind of getting into the, the world of um, show business, I guess, entertainment, um, I started off being a comic and um, getting on stage and kind of wanted to express myself but didn't have like kind of an outlet to do that. I couldn't just talk to people and people be like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, I don't know. Just, I don't get you. But, I wanted to kind of put what I wanted is kind of express myself and kind of have commentary on life. But, you know, and when I was doing comedy, I, I it was a lot of things that wasn't funny and I had these ideas still. So I was like, you know, let me kind of dust off the um, cobwebs because I used to write when I was much, much younger um, with the garage bands. I mean, my school had a MacBook, so you get on garage band and kind of just, you know, rap into the, the fucking Mac speaker and shit. And, you know, it was always terrible. It always sounded terrible, but it was kind of like the kind of the genesis then. But I guess it was kind of having that kind of commentary to where I could speak and kind of give my, my take on... Um, you know, the South Side life and not being a gang member but and not kind of, um, you know, kind of steering clear of gang violence and, and gun violence because it was so easy to get into that life. So I kind of, you know, cubicle life and living in the kind of quote-unquote matrix was not really my thing. And I was like, you know, if I want to do anything, I want to do what I want to do because I don't, 
there's no second chance. We're not going to get a second chance at doing music or doing whatever you want to do. Not just music. I chose music because I had a lot to say, and comedy was just not going to do it for me. I didn't want to be a clown anymore. I've been a clown when I was in school, and I wanted people to take me seriously. So it was kind of a a, a fire and to kind of want to be heard. And that's really all I wanted to do as a, as a kid growing up. Is just I wanted to be heard, and I feel like music is the, the place where I can you know, talk about something and, and kind of, you can kind of get the tone that I'm, I'm being serious and I want to be taken serious. So, um, with that is just kind of just sticking to it because I never stuck to anything as a, you know, kid growing up, but this was the one thing I was like, you know what, I'm gonna stick to this. I'm gonna do this music thing because this is what I feel I should be doing, you know? And, um, you know, of course the family situation, you know, I just want to see my mom and dad before, you know, we all got, expires con you know everybody got a contract and everybody's expired so i just want to be able to at least show my parents that you know i did something before they go on the past and live a legacy for my kids growing up and then they can take that and with that and you know kind of have something a purpose for why i was here and you know what i'm saying so i just want to have you know have a memory for everybody to when i'm dead and gone Somebody could still listen to my music and, and take something out of that and get inspired to do whatever whatever they want to do. So that's kind of that's kind of where I'm at with it. So yeah, thank you, Stephanie, for that question. That was a yes, yes, really okay. intricate question. <laughs> I liked it. Thank, thank you, love. Thank um, you, love. <laughs> yeah, thank you, love. thank you, beloved. Um, yeah. So piggyback piggybacking on what he said, uh, this the music really uh, gives us an opportunity to remain eternal we really uh, are able to live through every moment in life vicariously through our words, through streaming. Like this, people don't understand, this is is really a time machine. It really is. That's what it is. Essentially, it's a time machine. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go back in time to uh, a simpler time. You can go back to when it was a hard time. Music is therapy. It's therapeutic. It's very therapeutic. It's very, uh, uh, it exists within the space within itself. So when I hear Patrick's music, it really inspires me, bro. Like I, you know, I, he just showed me some unreleased on the way here. And I'm like, oh, like, <laughs> oh man, he, what? Oh my goodness. Y'all better look out, man. I'm telling you right now, man. Don't, don't sleep <laughs> on this man, bro. Man. Remember me, all right? Just remember me, bro. Oh, man, remember yo, me, I promise you, I ain't, everybody coming with me, man. I can bring on. So, um, yeah. With that being said, yo, like I, I feel the same way as you do in this. You know, I, I appreciate you bringing me on. I appreciate Absolutely. the love that you show and and giving me, um, you know, because coming from where I'm from, the energy a lot of times is. You know, you're on your own, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially in the music industry, like, you're on your own with this. Like, we ain't going to help you out. You got to just kind of figure it out. And it's cool to have people who kind of did it before me to kind of take the steps and go, yo, man, if you need, you know, talk to anybody in terms of artistry or in terms of just how to do certain things, like, it's cool to have people to, like, peace and, like, master, you know, show me the ropes and, you know, make a make a rookie feel like a vet kind of, you know what I'm saying? So, um you know, I, I, f I feel like I'm talented. I feel like I can, you know, take this with me if, for the long run as long as I just stay consistent. But it's that consistency and that, that journey that I just committed to, and we're going we gonna to get to it. We're we going to get to it. it. Y'all yeah. ready for the, uh, for the track? We're going to get into it. Um, this next track uh, that we're about to present is called uh, Cayendo. We did this recently, uh, and we plan on doing something with it. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna name three words: Southside South Saviors, bro. Southside Saviors, let's go. We on the east side, but we from the south. Let's get it. Hey. Yeah. Still with the same old gang. I ain't never gonna change. Still with the Maserati coupons through the lanes. But I am not drinking and driving, and lately I'm vibing. I've been dropping hits through the silence. I know how to barter like Robin. I know that I'm popping. I know that I'm popping. I know that we got in the streets of Belo that we never forgot. They won't forgive me in time. They won't forgive me in time. They won't forgive me in time. Lately I feel like I'm using my heart for this music way more than I'm using my mind. 
Yo, please, yo. Tell me something I don't know. Suicidal, my faux faux does. And I got more of that if you're looking for it. Spirit high, boy, I'm looking over ya. On my heart, I cross the line and get you. Shoot you from an angle, get the picture. Niggas fishy, keep it sticky with me. In the city where they green when it be. Woe is them the lack of green and getting me hitting different like a softball. Oh no. Get them, boy, I'm about to go crazy. Slim chance of you shading me. The light you need, the prophecy. Come rock with me, come rock with me. Swerve, swerve, I don't need it. Burr, burr, leave them freezing cold. From the flows, I'm the numero. Ooh, no, feel that boy with hoes. Swerve, sipping, how you moving, bro? Try to catch me, I'm an eagle, though. All them jabs, I been eating those. Where you from is all I need to know. Trapping weed on my single speed. Need a gram, that's about 10 a piece. You ain't gang, nor a friend of me. Obsolete, all my enemies. Streets get high from the blood you leave About to turn up to the third degree You gon' wish you never heard of me Feed me rappers or feed me beats Yeah Keeping it cool when I land in your city I paint you a picture, I feel like Da Vinci This shirt is Da Vinci, this actual is finished Load up a drum to that clip is on any I know a plug who deliver a sentence Eating at Paris, no eating at Denny's You just look dumb while you sip on a hand Penny for thoughts Can't back up the people I lost I on my wrist like a scrubs Recording and tape in the loft. The gang is called like Megatron. They switch. When you get the money, treat you different. I just hope they really go on the list. Cream up on my feet, you know I'm tripping. Yeah. Yeah. Thank y'all so much, man. Thank y'all. Um, we gonna. Yes, yes, no. Right. Same the past. Uh, when, when, when I bring, you know, guests on, I, I really want people to uh that's cool yeah yeah i'm sorry we live people so you gotta bear with us and this same pre-recorded um <laughs> but yeah when i bring people on you know these people really mean a lot of my life uh kim taking on the opportunity to perform with me of my first acoustic set um sauce being here being detrimental to daybreak the head engineer, head honcho, uh, Pat being here, being an incredible friend, an incredible feature, just incredible essence, that the flavor that he brings out of me, uh, it, this is my life within a nutshell. I really want everybody to uh, don't take anything for granted. If it's one thing that I always learned is that, you know, you take life day by day, you never hold any expectations, and honestly, you just... Give it all to God. We're not fully in control of this life. We're never in control of this life. Never. Mm -hmm. As much as we want to be, as much as we want to, you know, have ADHD over <laughs> everything that goes on within our lives, we're never fully in control. Uh, once you lose that control factor, or once you honestly have the faith, and once you start moving vicariously through your feelings and, you know, and having faith in what you're doing, you can never lose. Never. Right. Um, and I really want to thank South by Southeast uh, live on air. That's, uh, yeah, you know, that's the, yeah, I, I yeah. want to thank y'all. Thank you guys so much. You guys are detrimental to this whole uh, scene within the East Side. I feel like I said uh, we're very overlooked, um, but give them a listen. You know, uh, they their podcast really uh, brings out the best in businesses, brings out the best in artists, brings out the best. If you just have a small business, support, support. That's all they need. They don't need money. They don't need anything else but your support. So thank you so much for having me. Um, thank you to the guests. Thank you, Kim. Shout out, hey, Nasty Productions, right? Nasty Productions. Right? This, hey, this, I, I, I had to, uh, so this is Mass, Mass Attack 2.0, if you guys don't know. They'll probably put that on the label on, on YouTube. But um, yes, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you so much for being a support. Thank you so much for believing in me. Um, even if I just met you today over this live stream, I hope to be a friend of you. I hope to see you. Uh, I know, you know, we got cut a little short. We can go over time, but we don't want none, you know, none of our equipment to die. And you guys just be like, what happened? You know, so um, thank you for everybody in this room, actually, being here. Uh, the, the, the staff, the, uh, you know, the cameramen, uh, shout out Jabin right now. Uh, can we get the camera on my man's over here, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. We can't. Oh, it's all good, bro. He's a, he's a, he's a bit behind the scenes. He's a little shy. He's just a little shy, just a little bit. But um, 
this man right here has been detrimental to me as well. Just just an eye. He's very he's very uh he's talented through the lens, must I say. Uh and he uh if it wasn't for Jabin also believing in me, I would I wouldn't I wouldn't be here as well. So um I love you guys. Thank you so much for having me. We hope to be on soon. We hope to uh present you something. And I got something coming. I got something coming. So please be on the lookout. Uh daybreak out now. Uh all streaming platforms. I'll let you boy. Peace.